Good morning, Bitcoins. Today is Sunday, October 8th, 2017, and we're live at Paralenzi Polis for the HCPP, the Hackers Congress. We're joined by Paul Rosenberg, who's just about to make a speech. How's it going, Paul? Oh, it's great. I love this place. I'm just having a guess. So many fun people, so many interesting ideas. Yesterday we talked to Smuggler, a mysterious masked man. We had Eric Lombroso, Adam back. And today we're looking to get Peter Todd, maybe Julia Toriansky, Amir, and now Paul. So Paul, what's your speech going to be about today? Actually, I'm talking about CRISPR, which is a new uh, way of genetic editing. And it is awesome. It is essentially hacking the genome. Uh, it works tremendously well. It can do, it can cure hundreds, thousands of genetic diseases and it's it's cheap, it's easy, it's fast, it's stunning. You can't believe it's like science fiction, but you can't believe it's real, but it really is. All right, so slow down a second. It's <laughs> genetic editing. Is it for me while I'm alive, or is it for the next generation? Both. Both. Now, it's much easier to do an embryo or a single cell sure. than it is to do an entire living organism with, with billions of cells, but it can still be done. As a matter of fact, they just edited out HIV in living organisms. Wow. I think it was a pig, if I remember correctly. Sure. They also did it in mice. So this so, is a stunning technology. So it's not just like a science fiction idea. You're actually editing it. You're taking the cells out, fixing them, putting the cells back in, something like that? You don't have to take them out in, most ca in, in many cases. OK. Uh, you have to get all these things together. It's not simple. Sure. But it's cheap and it's easy. Well, the reason it's cheap is because they have, the price of sequencing a genome has gone from $100 million to $1,000. Wow. I mean, it's way better than Moore's Law. So they take maybe a blood sample from me, they scan my DNA, they make a map of what I have, they find something bad. What, what would they find that they could take out? Oh, gosh, uh, muscular dystrophy, okay. a gene that, that, that you know, uh, Sure, and MS. Survival to muscular. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and this has been done in animals, in animals, not in humans. Now, there are difficulties with it. It's hard to get these things inside of a human cell. Human cells are very much more complicated mm -hmm. than animal or plant cells. So there are certain difficulties to it, but it's unbelievable that it actually works. You can do all sorts of things with it. And it's cheap, relatively easy. You can do it. It's easiest to do it in a lab with sure. cells in a, in, a, in, a, in a plate or a petri yeah, dish. Petri dish yeah. uh, but it's, it's doable in organisms as well. Uh, it, it's just, it, it existed, we didn't know. Huh. It existed for millions of years. They actually found it uh, in bacteria. Huh. The, one of the key discoveries was in a Danish yogurt lab of all things. And these guys are sequencing the genomes of bacteria because that's very important for making yogurt and things like that. Sure. Bacteria matter a lot to them. Yeah. And they kept saying, what is this thing we're seeing in here? This, this, these other things on, on the DNA, what, what is this? Yeah. And they called them CRISPR, which is a big, long scientific name. It's, let's see if I can do it. Clustered, randomly interspaced palindromic repeats. Yeah, oh, yeah, No one needs to remember Interesting. That. <laughs> Just say CRISPR. Yeah. Uh, but they began seeing this, and then they realized it had something to do with an immune function. And then they found out that it's a marking system on the side of DNA, and that these other molecules, fantastically complicated proteins, that you can program to find an exact spot on a string of DNA. Huh. And we can do this. It's, it's not hard. And then, then this protein will also cut that DNA if you wanted to. Wow. It, it's stunning, and it's been there the whole time, and we didn't know. So do you have a company that's doing this right no, now? No, 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 no. I, I, I have too many other things that I do. I, <laughs> sure. I don't need another business. Yeah. Uh, but I, I'm a writer for okay. one of the things that I do. Great. And so I'm looking at interesting things like this, and wow, this one got me. Because, of course, my, my next question, and it's obviously a horror for me, but you're not starting an ICO, are you? <laughs> no, I'm not starting an ICO. <laughs> Not at all. I run a, I run a um, professional level VPN mm -hmm. called Crypto Hippie, okay. and I write a, a newsletter called Free Man's Perspective. Great. 
And so where are they working on this technology? Is there a certain country that's a hot spot? Is it becoming competitive yet? Because obviously everyone's going to want this. If you can edit out your diseases, if you can edit out your children's diseases. Uh, I mean, I, I know someone with MS. I mean, I don't know how far along, what scale they can help people at early or late. Probably early is better. Early is better. Um, what's happening right now, uh, there are labs all over the world working on this. Mm -hmm. uh, quite a few in the US, um, quite a few in China. China is really where the cutting edge stuff is going on sure. now uh, because in the US people are terrified of um, Everything. Uh, yeah, yeah, of everything. everything. Yeah. Uh, but of the do-gooders yeah. who are going to say, no, no, this is dangerous. We can't have this sort of thing. We're going to have genetically modified children and... Mutants. Yeah, mutants and, you know, <laughs> th those sorts of things. And look, eventually somebody is going to do something stupid with this at some day. There's going to be some, I mean, anything, you know. Sure, any technology, a hammer is a great tool, but it's also a great weapon. Right, it yeah. can kill a guy real easy. Easy. Yeah, so, uh, you know, so in the U.S., they're a little bit, uh, a little bit afraid of, of the do-gooders. Sure. You know, coming down on them. Uh, China seems to be less so. I don't know China very well, but that yeah. a lot of the things are going on there. A lot there. of cutting-edge technology happens they are. there. It's a, they it's are. a large, large place. We don't it even is. know the size. It's amazing. It yeah. and, and these guys are working, and they, they do good work, and they've developed a lot of things. So one of the original patent holders is a Chinese gentleman. Uh, there, but there are patent battles going on now like crazy. Sure. Um, but it's essentially a technology suited to small labs. You don't huh. need 10 gazillion dollars worth of equipment. It's easy, relatively easy yeah. to do some conditions. Some cases are harder, some are easier. But in, as a general rule, it's very easy and cheap. So we're currently at the animal stage. About how many years do you think before we start human testing? Oh, they've already done human. They've already uh, edited human embryos. Wow. Successfully, I might add. Huh. And, and brought them to term? Are there no, they babies? didn't bring them to okay. term. Okay, not to term. They yes. didn't bring them to term. This was just experimental, but, uh, you know, they let them go for however long. I'm not sure. sure. So they many days. Verify the results. And, and they then verified they, the know, results. And the, it, but yeah. the results were excellent. Wow. Yeah, so this stuff, it, like I said, I call it science fiction. Yeah. It's science fiction right now, it really does work. And it's affordable. It's accessible. It's stunning. There are biohackers working on... on cheap and easy and fast ways to eliminate HIV and, and it's working. So beyond curing diseases, I think the next step everyone goes to is, can we live forever? Is this going to work in with the uh, well, immortality idea that is floating around out there now? That would be nice, but living forever is a very complicated subject. It's not just a fix here and a fix there. It's a whole set of interlocking systems. Sure. Uh, and yeah, I would love for that to happen. Uh, CRISPR is certainly something that helps keep people healthy, will help keep people healthy longer. Maybe someday we can find some sort of gene to edit in to increase lifespan. I would like that, but I wouldn't want to overpromise. Yeah, well, if, if there's a switch and they could just turn off aging, I'd be all for that. Sign me up. I mean, we got to, <laughs> unfortunately, we'd have to stop at this point here, and I'd still probably be bald. They'd have to work on the hair <laughs> thing next. Uh, underneath the hat, we're very similar to Paul. But, uh, you know, hey, live long first, then we'll fix the hair thing. Well, the hair um, thing is, is, is that, that can be fixed. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's really amazing. So what, what kind of diseases would it work against? I mean, HIV, MS, uh, any heart gen disease? I mean, any I, genetic disease, yes. Okay. Uh, any genetically based or influenced these actually there was a, just a, a breakthrough recently with um, a, a heart particular type of uh, heart disease in the US I don't okay. recall all the details sure. but they had great success with it and they edited it out and the heart disease in the the children or I forget exactly how this experiment went there's sure. too many to keep track of. Yeah, yeah but it worked huh and they got rid of this particular form of heart disease and there's hundreds thousands of, of diseases like this that can all be addressed, some easier, some harder. Well, this sounds great. There's a lot of genetic engineering that I've heard about where it's much more cosmetic. We'll change the baby's eye color, we'll make it brown hair, black hair, whatever. But this would actually help people. And I'm even more impressed that it could be used for already living people. Yes. Uh, now, that's like I say, that's a harder thing to do. Sure. And uh, it may not be work for everything right away, but it does work. Hmm. And it's just a question of applying things until we can make it work much, much better. 
Well, I can tell you who you should tell about is uh, Larry Ellison from Oracle. Because oh, I hear yes. he wants to live forever and he's got the money to do it. Yes, uh, yes. So certainly get him involved, get some of these other uh, singularity type guys. Mm -hmm. uh, because obviously you're going to live forever. You've got to get rid of the diseases first. You've got to figure out the aging next. And then maybe we don't even have to live in a box like Spock's brain. <laughs> no, I, I, I don't think I would dig that. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Not a lot of freedom when you live in no, a box. No, yeah, I'm not, I'm not particularly interested in that. Well, that sounds great. Uh, thanks so much for being on the show, Paul. Where can people learn more about CRISPR? Uh, uh, obviously, if they search, it's going to give them a lot of information about a refrigerator. Right. Uh, but beyond that, CRISPR DNA, something like that, what would be it, the search? It's, it's hard to say because uh, if you go to the Wikipedia page, you get real heavy scientific sure, terminology. Sure, sure. And it's very hard to wade through it. Um, I did devote one issue to my newsletter to it. It's a subscription letter. You have to pay sure. for it. It's not expensive. Where, where can they sign up for your newsletter? Freemansperspective.com, just Great. the way it sounds. And you'll find one of the issues of the subscription letter. Uh, it was devoted to CRISPR, and we will have a re special report on CRISPR pretty soon, too. All right, and you have your VPN at CryptoHippie. What's Crypto the? CryptoHippie.com. All right. C-R-Y-P-T-O-H-I-P-E-I-E. Well, thanks, Paul. Thanks so much for being on the show. I know you got to go. you got to make your presentation. Yeah. And, of course, Paul's presentation will be live streamed later uh, when they release it on the HCPP Paralinzi Polis uh, YouTube at some point in the future. Uh, so if you want to learn more about Paul and CRISPR and the ability to edit our DNA, check it out. Thanks so much, Paul. Oh, thank and you. Just clap Paul out. And we have our next guest. <laughs>